Today's objective is simplifying algebraic expressions. Remember, simplify means do what you can to the problem. Sometimes it's multiplying, sometimes it's dividing, sometimes you, know, you just look and see what can I do. And one thing you can do is combine like terms, and that's what we're going to talk about today. Terms are the parts of the problem that are connected with an addition or subtraction sign. Okay? Like terms have the same variable and the same exponent. That is important. You need to write that down. So if we had an expression that said 3x plus 4x, we could say, hey, they both have the same variable, x, and they don't have an exponent, so I can combine them. So if I have 3x's and I get 4 more x's, I get 7x. Or, this is something you've been doing for a long time, x minus 12, negative 4. x and 12 are both regular numbers, they're both constants, so we can combine them, which you've been doing forever. Here's an example. Simplify 4x plus 8 minus 2x plus 15. Oops, I just brushed off some of this. Well, here are the steps. Number one, box-like terms with the sign in front of it. Add or subtract depending on what the signs are. So I wrote the problem again, and I put a red box around the 4x. School can start now. I put another red box around the negative 2x because I need to know what the sign is of that term. And then I circled the plus 8 and I circled the plus 15. Everything is going to have a sign except for the very first number if it's positive. It, if it's negative, it'll have a sign too. Now I just combine the ones I can. 4x minus 2x, I'm going to subtract. So that's a little problem I can do in my head and get 2x. Positive 8 and positive 15, I can add those together and get 23. So when I simplify this expression, I get 2x plus 23. And I cannot combine these because the 23 does not have an x. So 2x and 23 are not like terms because one has an x and one doesn't. Here's another problem. Simplify 3x plus 4m minus x minus 8m. I wrote it again so you could see what I was boxing. And when I did that, you need to remember how many x's is this? This is just 1. So I put a 1 in front of it, which you can do every time. Okay, I'm going to first box my x's. So I box the 3x and the negative 1x in black. And then I circled the positive 4m and the negative 8m. Where kids make mistakes is they forget to circle the sign, and then they don't know what to do. So now let's combine. 3x minus 1x. That's going to be a subtraction problem. 3 and take away 1 is 2. I have 2x. 4m, positive 4m, and negative 8m. That's going to be a subtraction problem because the signs are different. And my answer is negative 4m because I had more negatives to begin with. And I cannot combine these because the variables are different. So I can't combine my, I can't do anything else because the x and the m are different. So they're not like terms. What if I have 2x squared plus 13x plus 8x squared plus 7x minus 22. Well, I can box all of the x squareds. They are different than the x's. So I'm going to box 2x squared plus 8x squared because they have a variable 2. Then I'm going to circle the plus 13x and the plus 7x. Those aren't the same as the x squared because their variable isn't there. It's a 1, but we don't write it down if it's a 1. Okay, now I'm just going to look at the x squareds. So if I have 2x squareds and I get 8 more, that's an addition problem, so 10x squared. Now if I have 13x's and get 7 more, I have 20x's. But what about this negative 22? Well, there are no other constants. There's no, nothing else in this problem that doesn't have a variable, so I can't combine it with anything, so I just carry it down. So my answer is 10x squared plus 20x minus 22, and I cannot combine the 10x squared and the 20x because they do not have the same exponents, so they are not like terms. Remember, like terms have the same variable raised to the same exponent. Here's one more problem. 
Simplify 4 times the quantity, 2x minus 3, plus 7x minus 18. So first, I need to use the distributive property to clear out the parentheses. So I'm going to say 4 times 2x is 8x, 4 times negative 3 is negative 12, and then carry down the plus 7x and the minus 18. I cannot combine like terms until I've gotten rid of all the parentheses. So now I look and I see I have an 8x and a positive 7x, so I'm going to box them, and a negative 12 and a negative 18. Now you don't need to use different colors. I'm doing that so you can see it better, but I sometimes use circles and squares, and sometimes if I have more I use triangles, just so they'll stand out to me. So 8x plus 7x is 15x, negative 12 and negative 18, they're both negatives, or if we think about it, they're both bad guys, so we have a lot of bad guys, negative 30. And that's it. I did the distributive property, I boxed my like terms, and I combined. And these cannot be combined because 30 does not have an x. That's it.